Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is show you the version I'm using of Shotcut. Now I'm going to add another video track. Open Other, and then I'm going to click Color, and I want the Transparent. Now I'm going to drag that over to my playlist. And we'll bring it down to the video track. I'll resize it a bit. I'm going to copy it and paste three more times. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to try to center this a little bit. And I've got the ripple on so everything moves. Now the first clip, I've selected filter and now I'm going to go down to text simple. And I'll type in uh, the text I want. I'm going to change it to bold. Make sure it's at the bottom. And I'll put in a bit of an outline. And the thickness I put to 5. And I'm going to uh, repeat the process for the next two. put that one in the middle now the last one I'm going to do a bit different I wanted to use a preset, but I forgot to put that in first. Because if you don't put it in first, it's going to overwrite any settings you had already done. So I'm going to have to repeat that. So again, that I've set to slide in from the bottom. That's the uh, last clip there. Now I've gone to keyframes because I want it to come in slow. Let's play, see what we've got so far. Okay, that's at the bottom, that's what I want. That's in the middle, that's what I want. No, nope. that's still at the bottom, so I've got to fix that. And that's still at the bottom, so I gotta fix that.
Oh, I forgot to move that to the top, so I'll click on top. And we'll play it to see what's going on. Okay, good. That's at the top. And this one I got to fix. The last one. So I'm going to come in from the bottom. I'm just uh, readjusting the uh, parameters. That one box I'm clicking on is use font size. It's, it's good to have them all the same, I think. And I've gone back to keyframes because I want it to come in slow. Let's play it, see what happens. Okay, good, that's at the bottom. Middle, good. Top, good. Oh, that's still at the bottom. I got to fix that. So I'll go back into the filters and I'll go over to top after I've selected that clip. Here we go. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, now what I'm going to do is create a transition by dragging the clip to the left, the next one to the left, and the last one to the left. And that creates that transition effect. Let's play it, see how it looks. Okay. I'm happy with that. Okay, thanks for watching.